Hey guys, what a wonderful day to go out and eat. So in this video, I'll be showing you what are the frequent food establishment that I keep visiting. And also, I'll be showing you what the type of menu and services they are for. Without further ado, let's go! Off to our first destination is the SM City Consolation. Located at their main floor, let's head over to Joni Sizzler's Plus Rose. Now what I love about this food establishment is that they have a nice ambience and accommodating staff. Not only they offer friendly budget meals, but their food is also delicious. Compared to the other branches of Joni's, this branch is small and only serves few meals. If you dine in here, you can also get to see what's inside the kitchen because it's open and you can view what our the chefs are cooking. When we arrived there, I even saw the chef doing a flambe. Here I ordered spaghetti because I've been craving spaghetti for so long. Meanwhile, my mother ordered their one piece pork chop and my father on the other hand ordered their tangiki. In this food establishment, the services they offer is what we call American or plate service, wherein food is already plated and ready to be served to the guests to consume. Meanwhile, the menu they offer is what we call a la carte, hence they display their menu using menu signs and boards. After eating a Joni Sizzlers and Rose, we then head to Leona's Cakes and Pastries to order their cake. Now what I love about Leona's is that they have a good ambience and an Instagrammable place. Although they do not allow dine-in because of the pandemic, but still, we will be having takeouts. Once you will enter, you will then see all their products from the shelves and countertops. And since I'm after for their cakes, let's go to their cake showcase where all the cakes are displayed. Here, I ordered one slice of blueberry cheesecake and at the same time, my mother also ordered a slice of red velvet cake. The type of service they offer here in Leona's Cakes and Pastries are self-service or cafeteria, getting the baked products at the shelves and countertops and bring it to the cashier. When there is no pandemic, the establishment allows dining. Another service they offer is American or plate service. The establishment doesn't have any menu but all of their items are sold a la carte. After we have bought the cakes, we have to look at some of the items in the mall. After wandering around, we then head to the second floor to their food court because a friend of mine asked me to buy her takoyaki. Since we are already there, I also asked my mom to buy me three pieces of it as well. In addition, the type of service Sumo Takoyaki serves is kiosk and takeaways. Meanwhile, the menu they offer is a la carte and they display their menu in menu signs and boards. Now that we got the takoyaki, we then had our way home but before that, I asked my parents if they could take me to the Northside Beacon near to my previous school to get my Libre from a friend. Now Winter Bell is a popular here in our previous school because they offer various drinks here, kinds of milk teas, coffees, fruit shakes, and pancakes. Moreover, the type of service they offer here is American or plate service, takeaway service, and home delivery. The kind of menu they offer is a la carte and they display their menu using signs and boards. Another, because of the pandemic, the Pepitas Features and Winterbell have been collaborating. Now, within the single space, both businesses are serving various of foods. Just like the services and the menu offered by the Winterbell, Pepitas Features does the same as well. 